Hello everyone, I would like to show you a 360 photo viewer for VR headsets that I've been working on. The idea is to have a really simple 360 photo viewer with a few um, cool features that are not found in other uh, 360 photo viewers. So here you can see um, a list of 360 photos. This is the interspace will change. This is just a prototype. So um, the idea is to have a 3D effect, a fake 3D stereo effect and fake uh, six degrees of freedom. So for example, if this was a regular 360 photo, if I would move around, the whole environment will, would, would move with me and it would look kind of unrealistic. So this program is actually projecting it in a different way so that I can actually move around as you can see I can walk around the space a bit to still have this um, 3d effect so the floor is actually a different height different uh, distance from me than for example this building uh, you can't move too much because this is this is a, a fake 3d effect so you can see if you move too much some objects will be distorted in the scene but it really helps um, to get a bit more immersion from a regular 360 photo which is actually uh, 2D. Um, the way you can um, adjust the, the settings for each photo is you press this edit button and you can see this grid appears where the floor is and there is a 3D human that is a reference for your scaling. So for example, you, um, you can see this white line is actually the horizon. And my goal for every picture is to align the horizon with the horizon on the photo. And also to adjust the floor height so that it corresponds to my photo floor. Um, this square is about, is actually one by one meter and I can use the up and down buttons to move it. So for example, if I press down, you can see um, I'm actually ruining my 3D effect now. The human in this photo is now out of scale. So I know that I have to move it up pressing this. And since this photo is taken at about uh, shoulder height, I know that I have to adjust this horizon to sort of intersect this 3D human's reference shoulders to get the, the, the correct 3D effect and uh, depth effect. And then um, there is this floor that has, actually the environment is the size of the floor. So I have to adjust the floor um, dimensions to just reach the first vertical object in the scene. So I'm using this plus and minus buttons to adjust the floor. So if I just um, touch the touchpad, it increases and decreases just a bit. But if I press it, it increases in bigger steps. So here I want to have it near the, um, this pole to have the proper um, depth effect. So pressing the edit again will return me into the browser mode. So let me show you. Okay, the browsing is I can press up and down a button to just scroll to the list and then I can just uh, pull the trigger to open this image. So for example in this photo I, you see, I can still have some 3D uh, 6 degrees of freedom effect and if I press the edit button you can see that I have adjusted the floor so that it reaches the first vertical object in the scene in the photo which is actually this building and then I have my reference human to test if everything looks right and it looks pretty much okay. Um, there are a lot of other options to adjust. For example, if, if you have a photo like, um, like this, you can see in the thumbnail, it looks really weird. But if I open it, it is straight because I have already adjusted it. Um, so, you can see this is me so you can see um if i if i go to the edit mode 
this is the way I've adjusted it. I have aligned the horizon with the photo. So if I reset to the original settings by holding this button, you can see this photo looks actually really weird. I could correct it in Photoshop, but uh, Photoshop corrections are destructive on the um, photo pixels. So basically this photo is already a bad, um, has a pretty bad resolution. And if I would correct it in Photoshop, it would be even worse. So in this way, you are actually adjusting just the parameters of the projection. So you're not destroying the pixels of the original photo. So if I can use uh, these up and down to align the horizon and yeah this is already much better and I have this 3d effect and I can adjust the size of my floor to look better I have to move it a bit more and yeah this is this is already working much much better um, what else so for example in this photo you can see I took it at about 10 centimeter height and now it looks kind of weird because yeah, everything is out of scale so what I can do now is I can move the floor up and if I exit the edit mode now it looks much better because now I can actually see that the floor is at um, at the correct distance like 10 centimeters from my nose and you see the horizon this is my horizon now because that's where the floor is and then it looks much more realistic it looks weird because I am it feels weird because I'm I feel submerged into the, this concrete but um, it does look better um, what else yeah I can you can use the scroll button to actually in edit mode to adjust the rotation don't do it too much because it's hard on your vestibular system and that's pretty much it so um, this is just the, the first alpha version 0 0.3 so it's gonna be changed a lot in the next days months so I will actually need your help to just download the program there is no installation you just run it and let me know what you think let me know how it works with your photos and if there is anything um, that is not logical or that you would like to change or improve maybe the controls maybe I don't know maybe you have an easier way to adjust um, the horizon and everything else but let's let's start a dialogue let's let's see what um, what can be done to make it even better and to to have it really um, to make it really useful so yeah that's pretty much it it's it's free and uh, it's it's running on open VR so even though this is Windows mixed reality headset I think it should work even with um, HTC Vive all right that's it cheers